Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. Coming up, we're going to do the ICOM 7300 Ham Radio Deluxe Quick Start on the Rig Control. Okay, I have an article out, and it's an old one with the ICOM 7300 and using the free version of Ham Radio Deluxe. Later on, I did an article and video using the paid version. Well, they're up to uh, about version 6.5 right now. And a lot of people have been asking just for a quick start on the rig control. How do you get the 7300 connected to Ham Radio Deluxe? And this is the video you'll want to see. We're using just the USB cable because later on this year, Ham Radio Deluxe will be coming out with a Spectrum monitor display and we'll need to use that USB cable for that. And that's the reason that we're, we're going to bypass the CIV cable this time. So right now, if you're new to the 7300 or new to Ham Radio Deluxe, the first thing you want to do is download the USB driver from ICOM. And this is the web page. I'll put the link below. Now there's a couple of sections in here on the ICOM 7300. This first one, the ICOM IC7300, this is the firmware version, and that version's 1.3. And then you see down below here, the USB driver, that's what we want. And for the IC7300, that's also version 1.3. So be sure you get the right one. We're talking about the USB driver. Download and install it before you connect your USB cable to your radio. Otherwise, you'll probably run into problems. And then once you have that installed, you'll want to go over to the Ham Radio Deluxe website and download their latest version if you don't already have it. Now this is a paid version and it runs I think about a hundred bucks. But they do have a trial, you get to use it for 30 days and you can see how you like it. Download that, install it, and once it's installed you'll have an icon. And here's mine, Ham Radio Deluxe icon. And let's not forget to set up the ICOM 7300. Go over to my website and look at the screen captures page or the article that I've done for this. And you'll want to set your radio up like this. I have a lot of screen captures, but the ones for this video are the first seven. These three, these three, and this one. The rest of them, you don't have to really go through. We just want to get connected to Ham Radio Deluxe. So I'll put the link below. And you get to these by going through the radio menu. Put, you push menu, set, and then connectors. And one of the important ones in here is the CIV. You'll notice the CIV right here, menu, set, connectors, CIV. You'll want to have it unlinked from remote. It'll show unlinked from remote like on this image. And then the baud rate will be 115.2. We'll need that baud rate when Ham Radio Deluxe comes out with a Spectrum Monitor Scope or the Spectrum Scope as it's called on the 7300. Okay, so you have it installed and you have your icon. Just double click on it. You have the cable connected to your radio and the radio turned on. Once you start Ham Radio Deluxe, you'll come to this connect page. You won't have a preset if you're brand new to this. So you'll want to go to the new tab. And on the new tab, the company is ICOM. The radio is the IC7300. Now this quick start will work with other radios too. But uh, we're talking about the 7300 here. So the IC7300, your COM port. And to find your COM port, you'll want to go to device manager. And when you plug your cable in, you'll see an additional COM port pop up. And it'll be a Silicon Lab CP210X. And mine is on COM10. So you'll want to look for that in Device Manager, find out what COM, what COM port it is. COM10 is mine. And set that here, COM10. The speed is set in the radio through the menu set connectors and then the CIV menu. So we want to set it for the highest rate possible. This will come in handy when uh, Ham Radio Deluxe integrates a, a Spectrum Monitor display, a Spectrum Scope like you see on the radio. They'll have it in the software like other software programs have right now. DX Lab Suites has it. 
Uh, N1MM Logger has it and a few other ones. The CIV address, 94, that's the default. We don't want to change that. The flow control and the interface power, we don't want to check anything there. I don't have anything checked down here. I have auto start set. I usually uh, start my log book, but for uh, this video, we're just going to start uh, we're just going to start the rig control. And then once you start it the first time, you'll see a preset show up. And you'll be able to go to this preset the next time that you want to open up Ham Radio Deluxe. So you have these settings done. All you have to do is click the connect. And it should start right up. So this is HRD rig control. And I really like this. I've got it set up uh, the way that I like it. You may want to change yours. But I've changed the colors in mine. I've changed the sliders and the buttons that show up here. But this is a really good interface for rig control. I can increase the AF gain with this slider. I can change the RF gain with this slider. I can change my filter width. Uh, IF shift and a number of things. My RF power I, I do uh, quite a bit. And a few other things in here that I, I do pretty much uh, on a, a regular basis. And then over here, the, the modes, the USB, and the data. If I'm going to be operating uh, FT8 or PSK31, I can just switch to data on and uh, use it that way. So let's take a quick look at the customization that I did. And you can follow along and do it uh, a different way or add the sliders and buttons that you like. But uh, I, I loaded, I have a K0PIR IC7300. And I'm going to try to put this uh, as a download on my web page. I'll have an article coming out. And I'm going to save this to a zip file. So you can download it and load it in your Ham Radio Deluxe. And that way you'll at least get the colors show, show up. And it'll be the, the same as this. It'll look like this. I tried to make it look like the front of the ICOM 7300 the best I could. But that's the scheme. And then the, uh, the layout. Here are the, uh, the buttons. That's what uh, this looks like. And you can take a close look at that. Maybe I should put a, a screen capture screenshot on my web page of this. And then the buttons. And I changed the, uh, the color. And then this is the active color. These dark blue means that it's active, that it's turned on. The face play, I don't think I did anything there. Frequency, I did change the font on that. And I believe, uh, I don't know if the scheme will have that font or not. But you can play around with the font if you want to change the font. You just go down here, click on font. And mine is the Myriad Pro Bold Size 10. Go over to meters. I changed my meters a little bit. The background. I went in and I selected some different colors in there. Uh, trying to make it look like the, the front of the 7300. And then the sliders and the appearance. I did change that a little bit. I went to the custom colors and font. I changed the outside border. And I believe all this will be in the, the color scheme. And hopefully you can download it from my website. And just load it on, onto your uh, version of uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. And then the sliders layout. Uh, there's the default and then alternate one, two, and three. And I'll show you what that looks like. There's a little button over here and I have to close that little button. I can change the sliders. Default one, two, and three, and four, and then back to the default. Let me go back into that. It's customized right up there and you'll see the default this is what mine's set up as it's real easy to change these alternate that's what i have alternate two alternate three don't have anything for four or five so my default is the one that i use most often and then the tuning dial, I don't think I changed anything in here. I might have changed some background color. Uh, but I don't think I changed anything in there. And hopefully this will be in that color scheme. So that's it. I, I like the HRD rig control. I think it works really well. I can go up and down the band uh, really fast using this slider. 
and I had my favorite frequencies. That's what that square is. That's for PSK31. Have another one there, 14.2. Another one there, 14.285. So I can go up and down the band really fast with that. I can use my mouse wheel and fine tune. The only thing missing from HRD rig control is the pan adapter display or the uh, spectrum scope as we have it on the ICOM 7300. And when they get that in here, it's going to be really nice. Okay, that about does it. Please visit my website, www.k0pir.us. And if you have any questions or comments, please make them below. If you ask your questions on the YouTube channel or on my website, where other people can see it, you'll be helping, you'll be helping those people as well. So thanks for watching my video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.